Oh, my tripod broke. How am I going to hold this? Okay, we're doing this old school style. Hey y'all, my name is Cindy. Welcome to Sandblind. Today, I wanted to have a little hot topic discussion. This has been a bit controversial. It's been all over TikTok for a while now, but I wanted to bring it to your all's attention here, my audience on YouTube, to see what your thoughts and opinions are and how you break this controversial discussion down. All right, my friends. So this is regarding person first language versus identity first language. So what is this? Okay, basically what it is when you put your self before the disability, for example, I'm a person who is blind versus the disability before the person. I'm a blind mom. And that's sort of the basics. It's really kind of controversial, guys, and it really depends on each subsect of the disability community. Teachers, professionals, they're pretty much all taught religiously now person first language. It's the PC way and you do not deviate from that. But there's been a major pushback from the autistic community and I totally get their rationale and justification for this and it totally makes sense to me, which is why, back to my original point in many other videos, that it is an individual preference thing and you should always ask the individual how they wish to be referred to in appropriate ways and settings and context because so much of the disability world is individualized and unique to our own experiences. Now, I'm going to share my unique take on this. I haven't really heard anyone else have this perspective, so I want to just share it with you guys and also share some of the per perspectives that I've heard on TikTok. I've combed TikTok on this subject, you guys, and I found a lot of very interesting things. I wish I had saved my notes, though, to credit the creators and people of the of the voices of these perspectives, but I do not have that information to share with you guys. If I ever come across them again, I will tag them in the comment section down below. But here's my take on it, y'all. I see person first language versus identity first language as a formal versus informal thing. That's how I break it down in my head. I care more about the context and the setting then I do the actual sentence structure. For example, in professional settings and academic settings, I do typically prefer the person first language because I want to be recognized as a accomplished person, human with skills, capabilities, abilities before I'm seen as someone with a disability. Unfortunately, I think our culture just still has a long way to go, y'all, uh, of eliminating all the negative associations and connotations to being disabled. And I don't want that to impact on any way, shape, or form someone's opinion of me in a professional setting or academic setting based on me being disabled. And so I want to be seen as a person first and referred to as a person first in those settings formally. Now, informal. This would be just typical everyday conversations, discussions here on social media, within my own home, family, you know, friends, that kind of just informally. I have absolutely no problem with identity first language. You will hear me often refer to myself as a blind person, a blind mom, a blind woman, and I have absolutely no problem with it because informally, I don't see it as defining me, nor do I see it as a personal attack on me or any kind of like, I just don't take it personally if you put my disability first because it's informal, it's impersonal. And let's face it, in a lot of sentence structures, I think the English language lends itself more to this sentence structure just in our own natural use of the language. It's like, I'm not a person with tallness. You would say I'm a tall person, right? So it just kind of depends on the context, the setting, for me, more most importantly. Now on TikTok, I've heard a lot of other different perspectives from the autistic uh, community, especially. They feel extremely strong about this, guys, and it's been a very hot topic for them. And 
I absolutely totally agree with the rationale and um, I'm going to explain that to you here in just a second. One perspective I found very unique and interesting is this. She broke it down to, can, are you the same person if you subtract the disability? And if you are not the same person, if you subtract the disability, then you would use the identity first language. So for example, if you are a person with a heart condition and you subtract heart condition from it and you're still the same person, then you need, then you're a person with a heart condition and not a heart conditioned person. And so that's her point. In the autistic community, they cannot separate their disability from their identity. They see themselves as autistic because if you take away the autism, they are no longer the same person. Their brain, their neurological functions, their reactions, their behaviors, their everything, who and what makes them them is autistic. So thus, the overwhelming majority of, of individuals in the autistic community refer to themselves as autistic person. And that's sort of why you see so much variety within the disability community. Some subsects, like the autistic community, see themselves as autistic people, whereas others in the disability community really want to be acknowledged as people first, as humans first, and their abilities, capabilities, skills, etc. first before their disabilities. And me, I don't have a problem with either one, but it, I just really care more about the context and setting that is being used and see it more as a courtesy and tact type of uh, language sort of thing there. So that's how I view it. I'm interested to see what your thoughts and opinions are and what you prefer. Is it person first language or identity first language? And I'd love to hear your contributions to this discussion. I'll see you in the next video. Blessings.